Okay, folks, it's the WC here with another video now. <laughs> Man, let me say this. Let me just say this before the video get too long, all right? The city's not enough. It's just not enough at this point, man. And like, if you listen, if you take the time to listen to what I had to say in this video, you might feel the same way. Okay? Now, let me be completely honest with 2K Sports. Because I'm, I'm, I'm equally as honest with EA. You guys are light years ab above where EA is. No doubt. But just because you guys are light, head, light years above where EA is, doesn't mean that y'all could get away with just anything. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, your consumer base is strong. There's a lot of guys out there, a lot of kids out there, the majority of them, are going to go out of their way to try to get this console, bro. At, at bare minimum, if you didn't go ahead and pre-order the game before, you know what I'm saying, the current gen game to get the next gen game, they had a deal for that. At bare minimum, you're going to be spending, if you haven't done that, You'll be spending at least four hundred dollars for this, all right. Bare minimum. Some people like take my cash, but for people like me, I have to be objective when it comes to this company, just like I am with EA. All right. Now y'all gonna play the trailer, and I'm gonna point out stuff to y'all that I'm just like highly concerned about, and I don't think that it's enough. I don't think that it's enough for me to go out. And get the next console just to play this game. All right. Now, one thing that the community was talking about was, you know, bringing back affiliations, splitting the community a little bit, but keeping them together. That's basically what this city concept is. So it's like it's, a, it's like it's a split within um, a bigger circle. That's what the four affiliations is going to be. All right. Which I kind of like. But at the same time. Anybody that's played this game, how many man hours have you spent looking for games? How many man hours have you spent looking for games? So, when you buy the next gen controller, when you get the next gen console, whether you're on PS5 or you're on Xbox Series S or X, you're going to be wearing out that right trigger. Because you're, <laughs> cause you're going to basically be sprinting around this whole goddamn park. You're going to see a whole bunch of people with scooters and skateboards and shit just to get from one part of the city to the next. You can already see that. I can already see people running from me in the next gen version of the game. I can already see that. And I haven't had the game yet, so there might be a quick mode. I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that off the table. It might be a quick mode, but I didn't see that in this game. Besides what you've seen with, you know, the events, which will come up a little bit later in this video. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit play again, okay? The events, besides that, those are the only quick modes that's in the game. Pro-Am, Rec, those are only quick modes. So in order to get park games, I have to go around to all these neighborhoods and find games. Now, I don't know how the percentages and the numbers and the stats are going to work. I was hoping that they would make the neighborhood experience more stat based and that would show you that um in the trailer but only thing that they're doing is showing recycled gameplay and i'm telling y'all already the porting is already there with these green releases and shit you see this this is porting this was in the last version of the game this is called a port all right a lot of the gameplay that you're going to see in the next gen version of this game will be ported with a, with a few minor upgrades, maybe foot planning will be more clean, clean. Maybe collisions will be more clean. But the game has been ported. This confirms it completely. This, this right here completely confirms that the game has been ported on some type of level. That means that the problems that existed in last gen, the Corona shit, the aimbotting shit is probably still there. They probably can't fix it at all. Just based off of that animation being in the game. That's a core animation of the game now. That, is, that has been ported from one version of the game to the next. You guys should be very concerned about this. The people on YouTube is not going to be talking about this shit. I'll say it because they want me to pay another 400 something. 400 something. I didn't pre-order the last game. I didn't pre-order the, the whole combo to get the, the next game on the next console. Because I was unsure if I was going to go all the way out of my way. To spend another $400, $500 on another console. 
So I didn't pre-order one version to get the next version. So I didn't do that. I had enough foresight to do that. All right. I'm looking at this shit and I'm saying this shit right here confirms that there's porting in the game. So all that Corona shit, all that aimbotting shit that you saw in the last version of the game, it's here. It's right here. It's there. Now this right here, this whole this whole shit right here, this guy at this voting poll. Now this could be. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bury 2K for this initially, even though I should. This could be just surveys about the game. It could be is the stability of the game good? Is um do you like do you want this event to come up next? They could do something like that. So if if you guys encourage us to go over to a voting booth to vote on certain things that go on the game, like the next event and all that good shit, I'm not gonna attack y'all for this. But the politics or that Black Lives Matter shit, get that bullshit out the game. That's one of the main reasons why I didn't pre-order next gen. That's one of the main reasons why I'm probably not I'm probably gonna take a chill pill on 2K21 next gen. I'm probably just not gonna do it. Because I don't want that political shit in my video games. It's just very annoying at this point. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, you see political shit. And in a video game, I don't want to see that in a video game. I just don't want to see it. Microsoft, Xbox, just like in the last maybe 24 hours, I think, had the fucking audacity to send, a, send out a tweet saying that when things are put into the game, something something in the area of when things are put into the game, it ruins the experience. 2K has ruined the experience for me over the last couple of years, the last two, three years with this political shit. The NBA has done the same thing with their product. The lowest NBA finals of all time. That is not a that's not a fake thing that I said. It's not a fabricated thing. The numbers say it, it's approved. So if if 2K keeps this voting shit like if they keep it like gaming then that's fine with me. But if it's like some other shit that they that they want us to come over here and vote for, you know what I'm saying? Of course they got the the toxicity glasses on. You know what I'm saying? Um But if they don't keep this shit gaming, bro, then I'm not making a move, bro. I'm I'm still I'm still saying that this is just not enough for me to go all the way over there and get this shit. It's not a money thing. It's just a patience thing for me. It's always been that. Like, nothing has been a money thing for me ever. It's always a principles and a morals thing. But, all right, let's finish up this shit right here. At the training facility, a whole bunch of motherfuckers in. You, you never, let me tell you like this, you'll never see that many people in the training facility. But I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll dig, I digress, right? Um, the rental courts. But, matter of fact, when the game first comes out, you might see a lot of people in there. It's just rental courts. Now, rental courts could be like, just private games and shit. I do like that whole factor right there. The dance animations are the same. So that shit's been ported to. I got a whole bunch of these stores and stuff over here. Now this one was, this part right here was interesting. The my player sitting down with um, some earphones on. That's interesting because you weren't able to actually sit down on the benches. And the current gen version of the game. So that's a little bit interesting. I'll give them that 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 much props in this shit right here, right? A lot of the same animations. I think that that's the Pro-Am right there. I think that that's the Rec Center. That might be the Rec Center named after Kobe. Might, that might be it. Might be it. I don't know. That's the My Team. And then this is the event building. They got something called Haywire. That's a new mode. We'll figure out what that's about sooner or later. And no, oh, let me let me make sure I go back and show this shit. The guy is dunking with a fucking mask on. What in the hell? Like, I don't know. I don't know what they thinking, bro. I don't know what 2K be thinking, bro. I don't I I, I really don't. So if you got anybody that, that died from this shit, bro. Like you got like, it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know what their thinking is, bro. Some people might see, nice. like, some people might not see a problem with this shit. And to a certain extent, I kind of don't. Because this is real world at the at the moment. That people are walking around with these masks on, bro. But why is this in a video game? Can somebody tell me why the fuck is this in a video game right here? Why in the fuck, why the fuck is this in a video game? Why would that ever be believable that a guy would be fucking dunking with a mask on? 
You go to any court. You go to any court current, current day. It's like damn near the winter now. You go to any court. You're not going to see no motherfucker on the court doing this. Okay? Let me hurry up and end this video right here, man. Haywire court.